Hello there. So it's the second part of my timer lightning uh, tutorial. So what we're gonna do now with this combiner and timer? We're gonna make a what I call smoother. Smoother. We're gonna see that. We're gonna s get some sharp analog signal changing battery I'm gonna put it to black to plus and we're gonna put this into minus so let's make some analog signal changes oh check this out I got 0% and it's going down slowly and following. What actually happens here? First of all, this timer generates an analog signal and sends minus, which uh, 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 subtracts the battery value, which creates a difference between timer uh, value and battery. So this difference is outputted over here which uh, timer uh, which yeah it as you know combiner outputs the difference between two signals. So uh, it creates difference and timer on the speed reacts uh, this way it starts to follow analog signal because uh, yeah a difference starting to fit his speed value Speed, uh, speed, no, yeah, speed, and it go faster when it's closer to its original value, uh, or original signal value. So it creates the smooth effect, which is interesting because not only we got smoothing timer, we also got a differential signal, which actually allows to measure speed. So, I'm going to show you that, as you can see, and sending differential signal of analog uh, signal. So, it detects changes of analog signal. There's other cool stuff that you can do, except load, uh, lightning. So, we're going to plug so now we're gonna plug plus mine. Uh, we're gonna plug. Uh, uh, we can plug, for example, player sensor to the plus. We're gonna detect some analog signal. So as you can see, detects the speed of the sack boy. So as you know. Sackboy detects, uh, yeah, the Sackboy, when you move faster, it creates more signal. We're gonna then increase the speed, which will cause, uh, with time, which will cause the speed of the smoothing. So what this allows to do, if you guess and you're smart enough, you will know that when you plank this to the Positional sequencer, but now Van Jose, we gonna do. I don't want to reject you so much. We're gonna take the battery, not now. We can plug battery. make some most famous sound it's of course the crew sound actually we don't need battery we can simply plug the yeah I'm so stupid again and that's yeah uh, when you're gonna make more more timer 
time it will generate uh, the speed value will generate more signal depending on the speed. So as you can see, and you move slowly. generates less signal, but when you move fast, it activates the alarm. Yeah, it's cool for sneaking sy uh, systems. Yeah, but this is not the coolest part of this all. I, I uh, based it on the system. I built the noise generator. It's actually cool. And you may remember that copper, cop. I don't know how to pronounce it. Make probability uh, timer. Probability, right? But uh, first of all, uh, he made it a little uh, larger. Uh, Idea, but I'm gonna show you since we're gonna make noise generator, we're gonna use randomizer. I'm gonna show you something interesting. He used OR gates to control. I don't know. Yeah, he used OR gates to control. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if he used that. Yeah. You plug one to minus one to plus. And you know, timer has uh, not a lot of people know that, but timer got uh, so called on time minimum and maximum and off time minimum and maximum. What is this? It randomizes the time. Yeah. You actually got timer randomized, a timer randomizer. So as you can see, on time will decide, randomize how much time is so it's on, and off randomizer decides how much time it is will be uh, how much possible time it's off so you can control your probability with this and to control minus plus yeah actually you don't need to use that you can simply plug this here and you get your freaking probability <laughs> without any or gates yeah, but you know, this sucks for making noise lamps. Yeah, it truly sucks <laughs> because yeah, it's a cool effect. Yeah, it's you know if you want to smooth effect of the light, it's cool, right? But there's better way to do it, and my nice effect. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna find that circuit. here. Tetris blocks, oh my god. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, ponies! <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to do that fast. So, yeah, cartoon parts, a lot of shit. And other rewards. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yep, it is. So yeah, so I made better circuit than that probability noise. It actually generates random maximum, creating real random effect. But is uh, it using the smoother on this and randomizes the batteries, which controls the speed of the moving creating complete chaos called the noise. You can control probability of the analog signal by switching the battery values. For example, if you're gonna be more higher, it will stay on higher values and gonna drop for a few seconds. Yeah, and you know, you can control the rate with this. Actually, when you plug the timer, you can switch it, but yeah, I'm using the 
as you not know, the NOT gate does something like that. It creates a lot of pulses. Scrub effect, as a lot of people call it. So it creates cool noise effect. And be right by back while, when I'm gonna show you the, uh, the cool effect with lightning. So be right back. So stay in something. See you soon.